Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October, okay? So, okay, guess we're going to take those. So anyway, yeah, this is for October, so keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Hills. Mm -hmm. Obstacles to overcome. So you're going to have obstacles that need to be overcome. It's probably not going to be easy, but I think you can probably do it. Hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. So maybe you're going to be taking or you need to take a little vacation. Let's get a couple of these. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? I guess that one wants to... Change in living situation. So there's going to be a change in your living situation. Let's get one more. And that could be anything, okay? That could be a new person moving in, a person moving out, could be a new pet, could be a new home anything okay there's going to be a change in your living situation mm. a message is coming that you do not want to hear interesting interesting all right let's get one of these what do we have for taurus gonna have to make a decision you're gonna have to make a spur of the moment decision a split decision you know you're gonna have to make a choice between two options I just saw the two of wands so you're good you're like gonna be at a point where you have to make a decision justice this is your decision <laughs> okay so a fair and just decision uh, based on the facts, based on the truth, you're going to be put into a position where you have to make a decision. That is also a card of karma, truth, uh, the law. There could be involvement with the law. Could have something to do with a contract, maybe even a legal, well, obviously a legal contract. Anyhow, justice is a fair and just decision, but it's going in your favor. So you're the one that's probably making the decision. Let's get one of these. Mm, this one jumped. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, something about being playful. Let's get one more. A message is coming that you do not... Oh, there we go. We got a flyer. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Ain't that just dandy? Pay attention, pay attention to the red flags. So there's going to be some red flags. You're going to have to make some sort of decision. I, mean, I wonder if it's, if it's about romance. It doesn't have to be about romance. It may have to do with your living situation. Maybe it's about a home. I feel like it's about a home for some reason. About a contract. Ooh, judgment. I just cut it to judgment. So it's something about courts or contracts. Legalities. Mmm. Knight of Swords on the other side. So we have Justice and the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is, def there definitely could be news of legalities. Or there's movement, fast movement. I gotta go, I gotta make this. This is a life-changing decision with judgment. This is a life-changing decision. So you're gonna be making a, a life-changing decision. It feels like there's somebody, I don't know if there's somebody coming towards you they're propositioning you in some way or you're proposi propositioning somebody has to do with your living situation I 
I don't know, somebody may want reconciliation with that justice card, I mean judgment card, that give them a chance. Final decision, final verdict, end of a trial. It's a time of uh, absolution with judgment. That's the end of things. Making a life-changing decision. This is going to be making a life-changing decision. I think it has to do with your living situation. I feel like you're going to have some you're going to have to solve some problems. You may have to investigate. Obviously, it's a choice with justice because there's two sides. Here we go again. 5 of cups. 5 of cups is grieving. That's my baby. 5 of cups is grieving over loss. Strength. Strength is a card of courage, bravery. Be brave. Finding the strength. Find, you're going to need to find some sort of inner strength to overcome some sort of loss. Hold on, I'm going to tell my daughter to get that cat. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. So it's probably going to be an interruption. I think things are probably going to change. If something's going to happen. And that is crying. Interesting. Because Five of Cups is crying. And as that cat started crying. It is. It's crying over a loss. Moping over a loss. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of loss here. But strength is a card of healing. It's a card of mastering your raw, raw emotions. Maybe healing over the loss. A message is coming you do not want to hear. Devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could also be dealing with a Leo. But this is temptation. It's lust. It's desires and the strength card is very it's a very sex both of these cards this and strength they're both a very sensual sexual energy so i'm not sure what's going on there but this is tempted it's tied to a situation bound to a situation it could be toxic there could be addictions here i'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that has some addictions Or you have some addictions. Just get the rest of these cards. Five of Swords, Page of Swords. There's some sort of hostilities here. Uh, Page of Swords. I feel like there's some. There's. There's. I don't know if you have an enemy, <laughs> or if you have. I don't know if this has to do with a child, or it has to do with somebody that is very aggressive. There's aggressiveness here. There's. I feel like there could be even some sort of abuse. And I don't know if it's mental abuse or some sort of abuse. It could be an abuse of a drug. You know, uh, there's some sort of abuse here. Um, grieving. You are going to need to find strength to overcome some sort of loss. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is betrayal. This hurts. It's like, I don't know, you're dealing with some sort of abuse. There's abuse here. There's hostilities. Fighting, aggressive behavior. Somebody's uh, very aggressive, angry, upset.
being pushed away, wanting to be in control. Somebody wants control. They want power. They want control. I feel like they've lost control and they're going to be asserting themselves. This is somebody that is very assertive, that wants to win at all costs. A message is coming definitely that you don't want to hear for the Page of Swords. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some, I don't know, some hostility, somebody that is picking a fight with you or they don't they don't want to lose they don't want to lose what is it that they don't want to lose they may not want you to walk away or to leave may try to stop somebody may be trying to stop somebody from leaving Reverse. This is somebody coming back around. I wonder if this person has already left and they're coming back around. I feel like you're definitely going to be dealing with a conflict. Some power struggles. Somebody that wants to prove themselves. I feel like they want to prove themselves to you. Or to somebody else. Somebody who is in their ego. Definitely in their ego. Strength. Five of Swords and the Devil card. There's somebody here that is really in their ego. They're grieving. They're in some sort of pain. They're going to be asserting themselves. Fighting. Nine of Swords. Ten of Cups reversed. Fool. And Death. Oh my God. Death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. It is a transformation, right? It's some sort of transformation, transition, uh, a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. We have fool right underneath it. Okay, so the fool is a new beginning, going in a new direction, starting over. Uh, somebody's going to be starting over. They're going to be starting over from scratch. I feel like uh, there's a relationship here that is coming to an end. Ten of Cups reverse. That's in your environment. Okay, so there's a relationship that is not on the same page. Somebody may be rejected, you know. Uh, they are not happy with the circumstances. They're not happy. They're definitely, definitely, definitely not happy. This is a, this is a dying dream. It could be even children leaving home. Uh Could have something to do with a family member. Uh, nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Um, there's some sort of anxiety here. There's some sort of worry. Great personal fear. Very scared. Oh my God. This is fear. This is like a nightmare. What the hell is this? I feel like you are you are dealing with somebody that is toxic, that is, uh, I don't know, there's somebody, that you may even have somebody here that is obsessed. There's some, because that's in your future, the devil card, it's some sort of obsession. Somebody is obsessed, they may be trying to break you up or cause a breakup, could be an ex, or it's somebody that doesn't want to give up, they don't want to lose, they don't want to lose, so they're picking a fight. I do believe there is somebody here that is going to pick a fight. I don't know if you have a new love or what, if, what is it that you have, but I feel like you have something here and I don't know if you got somebody you're dealing with, somebody that has some mental health issues or what. Anyhow, um, your, the overall outcome is the death card, which is an ending that leads to a new beginning. So it's the it's the end of one life and the beginning of another. So you're going to be embarking on a new journey for sure with the fool card underneath it. You're going to be starting a new journey. Maybe going in a new di direction. You may be going all by yourself. I'm not sure. I'm going to get some more cards. But I feel like taking a vacation physically or mentally, change in living situation. Somebody may be walking away. This is somebody that is very, very aggressive. They, they are 
This is somebody that has no moral conscience, that doesn't care who they hurt. This person is very aggressive. They are immature. They're childish. They want control. They want power. They may be toxic. They don't know if they're on drugs or they have some sort of addictions here. I mean, with the devil card, this person um, is grieving over some sort of loss. And I feel like they're going to be causing some problems. Maybe it's with your living situation. I don't know. Anyhow, I think that you, you're going to... Let's get some more cards. Two of Cups, right over the Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles, reverse on top of the Five of Swords. Moon, reversed under on top of the Strength. High Priestess, reversed on top of the Devil. Sun card, on top of the Page of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with Sun, you know, your Sun. But then again, that's usually happy in the upright. So anyway, let's get the rest of these cards here. Yeah, somebody is not happy about your partnership, about your choice, your choice in love. The lover's card in reverse is next to the ten of court cups reversed. That is a separation. It is a loss. It is a breakup. It's, it's not compatible. I feel like we have somebody. There's a separation here. There's a separation here. There's going to be a fight. The death cards with the seven of wands, that and that was my hand on the back of the chair. And if you wanted to know, okay, I was just put my hands in the little crack of the chair. Anyhow, um, seven of wands reversed. That is challenged. Challenge. Somebody's gonna. No, it's upright. Seven of wands is upright. That's a challenge. So you are gonna be facing some challenges. We got obstacles to overcome. It feels like you're starting a new life. You are embarking on a new journey. You're removing restrictions. Eight of Swords reversed next to the Fool card. You are um, letting go of emptiness. You're, you're going down a new path. You're breaking free. There's an obstacle that is being removed that has been restricting you. You, you are embarking on a new journey, but you are dealing with some opposition. You are going to be caught off guard. Somebody's going to be picking a fight, or they're going to be fighting for you, or they're going to be trying to stop you in some way. They're going to be putting you in a position where you need to fight. It's almost like you need to fight. You need to fight for what you believe in. You need to protect yourself. You need to stand your ground, okay? You're going to be put in a position where you need to stand your ground. Um, somebody's going to try to restrict you. It feels like you're free. You're free. You're free. You're free. It's fool next to the Eight of Swords reversed. This is freedom. Okay, you're freedom. You're free. This is free. So this is freedom. Um, I feel like in your environment, uh, we have the Ten of Cups reversed and the Lovers reversed. There's a separation here. A separation. Or that we have a relationship, you know, that, that isn't on the same page. There's a lack of of uh connection okay there's there's the connection is no longer there or it's dissipated or there's a breakup or whatever and uh somebody has probably lost you know this is somebody that has lost they're very very worried they're not happy with an outcome maybe you've chosen another option i feel like you have I feel like you have because this is what we got. We got the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups. So this is, it feels like you have connected with somebody. You have connected with somebody and you got somebody here that isn't happy with your new connection. That's what I feel like this is. You may, and for some of you, if you're single, you may have somebody that is coming back around that um, is going to be connecting with you, but this person. Uh, doesn't have good intentions and I just need to I need to let you know I need to let you know that I feel like you have two options I do I feel like you have somebody that is coming back around that uh, maybe they've abandoned you they've neglected you they ghosted you they didn't give you very much and they're they're now they're putting it they're putting up a fight they're putting up a fight for you because I don't know, maybe they see that you're happy, you know, maybe they, they, they've been watching you, they've been spying, maybe they've been stalking you or whatnot. Anyhow, I do believe that you are unaware, you are unaware that you are about to be tempted by somebody that is very unhealthy. You are going to be tempted by somebody that is unhealthy. 
Um, all is not as it seems. Somebody's going to be revealing something. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Something that has been hidden. I feel like I feel like you have somebody that has pushed you away or has um, betrayed you in some way that is going to be, uh, it feels like begging. It feels like they're begging with that five of pentacles. It really does. I mean, it feels like begging, like begging. It feels like they're going to be begging. Um, begging for you to give them a chance. Didn't we have that judgment card? I think that we did. Anyhow, I feel, but I feel like you have two options here. The lovers is a choice and so is the two of cups. I feel like you have an option. You have two options. I feel like you've been grieving over a loss. Uh, with that five of cups, you've been grieving, you've been, maybe you've been through a period of healing with the strength card, you've been healing, you know, you've been healing, but I, and I feel like you've gotten to a point where maybe you're no longer interested, maybe you're no longer interested and now this person wants to connect. Um, you are going to be receiving a message that makes you feel conflicted. You're going to be conflicted by this. You are unaware of it. You are completely unaware of it. There is also a secret that is definitely going to be revealed. We have the moon reverse and the high priestess reverse. They're mirroring each other. That is a secret being revealed. Um, we have somebody here that has some secret addictions as well. I don't know if that has been hidden. If it has, you're going to you're gonna hear about them. Okay, whether it's a sex addiction or it's a drug addiction or whatever this addiction is, you're going to hear about these addictions. Um, there is also obsession here. So there's somebody that is totally, totally, totally obsessed or they are um, really in their ego, you know, um, very unhealthy. Maybe you're unaware that somebody is unhealthy. And this could even be a sex addiction, if I didn't say that already. Anyhow, um, I do believe that you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody. And I feel like you're really, really happy. You're really, really happy with this person. Um, but I do believe that you're about to receive a message or you have been deepening a bond with somebody. This is definitely about a partnership. And I feel like you are about to hear something that you really, 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 really don't want to hear. This person may, um, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is very cocky, very ignorant, very arrogant. Um, this person is uh, definitely hiding something. Could be a Pisces. Could be, it's either a Pisces or it could be a Capricorn. You also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have Leo. You have Aries. You have Scorpio and Gemini. So, and we have Libra, if I didn't say that already. Anyhow, I think that you're going to be giving deep thought. I think that you need to give deep thought to a situation. I feel like there is somebody here that hmm, is abusive. Okay, I feel like this person is abusive. I feel like they lie. I feel like they have secrets, and their secrets are, they are about to be revealed. I also feel like you're de for some of you, it won't be all of you, you're, so you're dealing with somebody that has been in a partnership. This person has been in a partnership. They were in a relationship that they were not compatible with. This person is going to be separating. Okay, there's a separation here with a partnership that is not compatible. Okay, there is. The Ten of Cups reverse and the Lovers reverse. That is a breakup. Okay, there's a breakup. It is a... It is. It means a separation. It's, it's choosing another option. And then above it is the Eight of Swords reverse and the Fool. So that's removing an obstacle. Letting go of emptiness. Breaking free. This is freedom. Freedom from restrictions. Freedom... Some of you are going to become free. You're going to become free or you're dealing with somebody that is about to break free. They are about to break free from a partnership that they are not compatible with. They may be offering something to you, okay? I do believe that you are in for a challenge. You are going to be caught off guard by an opportunity. You are going to be caught off guard. I feel like you have a choice, okay? You have a choice and you're going to have to really listen to your gut. Pay attention to your gut. I feel like you do have a loser here with the Six of Wands reverse. You have somebody that gives up when the going gets rough. This person runs, okay? They run. They don't stick around. I don't know if it's a fire sign. It could be a fire sign. Um, this is somebody that doesn't follow through. They don't, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. We have Pisces as well a couple times. Um, or Leo. Anyhow, I do believe that you're going to be 
struggling, okay? We have three fives. Five, five, five are power struggles. Expect the unexpected. It is a card of person, or five, five, five is personal freedom. Unexpected life changes, major life changes. Your life is about to change, and it is very, it's a big, 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 big change. I feel like for some of you, maybe you weren't looking for a commitment, or you weren't looking for love. You may be, you may be falling in love with somebody. I mean, you may be. Maybe you're falling in love with somebody and you have to separate from somebody else. You know, you have to, this is definitely a choice in love. Um, it may even have to do with children or family members that don't support your choice. Okay. Um, you are going to be making a life changing decision in October. I do believe it, it affects your living situation. Get prepared to step into unknown territory and let go of the em emptiness because I feel like you are about to embark on a new journey. I also feel like there's some sort of protection here. You may have a protector. You may have some, maybe maybe you've been brought some sort of protection. With that seven of wands, it just looked at it, it looks like protection. You may have, you may have a protector here. I do believe you're going to you're going to be receiving a message that you don't want to hear, but I also receive believe you're going to be receiving some happy news, okay? You are there's I feel like there's happy news, but I also feel like there's a message you don't want to hear. You're going to be conflicted. 555 is about conflict that bring change. I mean, you can't make that up, but this is happy news. Okay? I feel like you, you're going to definitely be caught off guard. You're going to be caught off guard by being put in a position where, you know, you have to make a choice. You may have to push somebody away. This is a life-changing decision. Everything's going to go in your favor. But you're going to have to choose wisely. There's consequences with your choice. You know, you, there's lies that are going to be exposed or a secret is going to be exposed that has been hidden. I feel like there's somebody here that has been causing you a lot of stress. This person doesn't like to lose. You know, they don't like to lose and you may just have to, you know... Maybe you have to get the law involved. I don't know. Good luck. 